the first miss. Vishnikova goes and gets it. She missed it. And Tasha Mills yanks down the rebound. Mills averages 12 points and 6 rebounds, but in the last 5 games, she's been averaging a double-double. George's points this year. That shows you how much they are relied upon. Tasha Mills working. Taking it to Tasha Mills, who just scored a moment ago, and she hits again. See the nice touch. Tasha Mills can take it down low. She's developed a nice turnaround jumper. And Alabama doing a good job slicing up the Georgia zone at the moment. Tasha Mills, oh, strong rebound. And she was swinging her elbows, and Coco took a marshmallow in the air. Well, that's just a, this is my land. <laughs> Alabama, they're setting up Tasha Mills. And she is showing where she wants the ball. See, that time she took Lott so far up the lane that if you lob the ball... She's pushing there with Angie Ball. Lott turns, that's her shot. And it was rejected by Tasha Mills, becoming more involved. So Alabama with a chance to cut into this lead. Mills is posting. Mills has it. She's going to the rack. Got it. What a great pin by Tasha Mills. If you're going to do a clinic for how you should post up using your off arm to keep the defense away. And you're a player that comes off the bench. What a gorgeous pass right there by Ezell. That, my friends, is a clinic. Wait, and that really upsets me. Their prospects will want to come to Georgia when they hear that. Andy Landry will catch you if you don't shoot. That's right. Mills hits from the free throw line. Tasha Mills, we knew she would be an important player today. Look at the beautiful bounce pass. Canty gets it. She draws defense, and Tasha Mills is singing all the way to the bank because she's got the inside position. Basketball. Irwin launches. She's short, and Mills comes up with it. And I might just clarify the Meeks. Well, that is a great trivia question. Here goes Mills on the break. Tasha, shot block for the foul. Well, Alabama at one point trailed by eight, 31-23. playing at Trinity Valley Junior College, powerful program, so she makes one of two, 42-38, we're under a minute. Kelly Miller, of course, her sister Coco on the bench with two fouls, Nash thought about it, pivots, shot rejected. Have to be able to break you down off the dribble and create their own shot. Both of the Millers can do that. Georgia has scored six unanswered points to start action here in the second half. Little zone action, little 2-3 zone. Great pass inside by Ezel and converting was Mills. Whip it over to Kelly Miller who fires. It's too long. Vishnikova poked. Miller. Oh, Tasha Mills. Well, Tasha blocked it up defense and also the fact that Vishnikova has been on the bench for Georgia. They don't have an inside presence right now. She has jumped up. Georgia misses from long distance and Tasha Mills has been the woman on the boards. Put together an outside barrage. Kelly Miller shot block and Tasha Mills. Another rebound. Mills now with nine boards. Well, it's important for her to get involved anytime she's on the floor. But right now, Trent, they have a great freshman in Jackie Styles, one of the top scoring freshmen in the country. So a number of those uh, lower echelon top terrific performance for the junior. Chicago, Illinois, Tasha Mills, and she gets in. Definitely the baby Shaq, she is called. Did a pretty nice job there of sealing Clarice Mashanguana off along the baseline. Or last, last year, that will be on ESPN. Nice pass. Washington has now hit four straight shots as Tasha Mills goes inside to regain the lead. A drive, no good, and a lot of problems. Starters, or excuse me, two uh, Mystics. Vicky Bullock should have a chance to be an all-star as a reserve. Oh, he will be called for the foul. Michael Cooper trying to get into the heads of the officials, but also into his team, and there's no question that that was a foul. Los Angeles Lakers. And eight times went to the NBA Finals. Great help tonight. Great pass there as we compile on the greats. Give that one to Tasha Mills. Tasha Mills really doing a nice job of using her body and playing angles in that low post. This, this is a team that, again, is off to only a 6-5 and five start, a team that a lot 
thought would be a powerhouse in the Eastern Conference as the powerful Tasha Mills gets fouled on us at the beginning of the show. There have been a little bit of contrast. Tasha Mills hits a free throw. Anytime there is a competitive... And Tasha Mills, the big body inside for L.A. Allison Feaster trying to go inside and play amongst the trees, going up hard for a rebound, trying to knock it out to a teammate and taking a shot from Baby Shaq. Didn't feel like Baby Shaq right there. <laughs> Crashing in the bullet and then knocks it out of bounds. Washington Basque frustration. Well, she's been pounding against Tasha Mills, and that's not a fight that she's going to want to get into all game long. Nice help side defense there by Vicky Bullet, but it's just a wrestling match down low with Mills. It's the only time in men's or women's college basketball where a 16 seed has upset a number one seed. It's a fret. Misses one over Andrea Naj. Yeah. 6-3 taking jumpers and bad miss there for Hold Squad. Doesn't matter anyway as there's a foul underneath. And we have quite a basketball game here at the MCI Center. One of 11, Jay, from the floor. Hold Squad all the way. Mills tries to create and a foul going to be called underneath. Lisa Leslie can't believe it. For the basket, I thought she got fouled there, but Tasha Mills not stopping and treating that shot as if it were going to be a missed shot. Against the Liberty, Tasha Mills knocking it down, knocking down the first one. Well, Lisa Leslie, so much experience, just going to have to pick her spots, and this perhaps the best game all season long for Tasha Mills. Two for two for the rookie. They've got to learn how to attack these zones better by attacking the gaps of the zone. Nabika now one of 12 from the floor. You can see Tasha Mills going on the high side, so the pass can't come in from the top. Overnage can't get it to fall. And Tasha Mills has gotten some quality minutes and taken advantage of them tonight. Well, she's earned those quality minutes. She's been much better about picking up cheap fouls, and she's really gone to the class and been strong inside when she's gotten the ball. Really worked angles very effectively. Four rebounds, four mills, as in just one personal foul, Jay, for Tasha Mills. That's a great ratio. On the lefty dribble out front, 16-foot lean-in shot, no good. And the rebound of Mills, she takes up space in there. Waits for traffic she to clear. It for. Back come the Mystics, and inside Mills gets the easy layup for her first side of Naj. Low left Mills backs in easily, jump hook good. She backed Tot down as if she was nothing. Mill is tied up, and a jump ball is called with Tot and Mills. You're going to keep it at that. And I will say you will not be disappointed. I am Monarchs, who are up 56-36. From the tap, it's controlled by Washington. They work to our right. Then the ball's knocked out of bounds by Sacramento. Boy, did you see Mills block out Katie Stedding on that one? Yeah, Katie didn't have a whole lot of room to work around <laughs> no that chance. time. There was no chance, and she wasn't going to try to push her out of the way either. Right side, Holtzclaw holding for Washington. Low right, Mills plays the two-player game with Holtzclaw. On the move into the lane, Shamiqua misses lane, Holtzclaw Holtz off the inbound. Air ball on the jump hook, but an offensive rebound. Mills inside, laid it in. Boy, what a, uh, a quick-footed move that time by the big, burly player. Well, out high to Aldridge, a bouncer to Mills, left of the lane. She ripped it out of two players' hands and then got fouled oh, going to the basket. 419-WNBA <laughs> is the number to call if you want to be a part of it. As Tasha Mills hits the shot, she now has seven off the bench. Pop crew, if you come to a game, hands down, you will say, love the hip-hop crew. I've never that heard game's going to be on ESPN, but... Sometimes the Monarchs a little stale after the long the long rest, so I hope they're ready to go when they get to Houston. Yeah, I think this is Tasha Mills coming out. He lays the ball in and gets fouled. She now has 10 points in this ball game, and Mills, I'll tell you something. She has been a bright light for this Mystics club, which is 12, and the free throw by Mills is in. You know what, for as big and strong as she is, she's got light feet. She's very light on her feet. Yeah, she's she's very she mobile. Very it, and it goes through the lane to Mills, and she forced her way through. Two players missed it, got it back, and laid it in. Uh-oh. Mills can be a terror. Kept she alive by news. Katie Stedding, but Mills collected it. Boy, Katie, I'll tell you that. I'm not the, the sharpest knife in your drawer. As uh, Aldridge at the line uh, misses the second free throw, but an offensive rebound to Mills who lays it in. And Mills, Mills out high left to Anderson. Anderson on the righty dribble through the lane, runs the shot up, no good. Offensive rebound, Mills in deep, missed the layup. 
Rebound battle to the floor. Mills chased it down. Tied up by Clydesmith, not for long. Anderson has it right side for the Mystics. A three in a deep corner is no good for Tanya Washington. Rebound to Mills. She threw it out of bounds, but it hit the leg of Cindy Blodgett. Went out of bounds. Boy, this Mills is a one-woman wrecking crew. 